I am Sean Kent Hayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. I am regularly asked what I feed my little schnauzers. And just recently, several people have reached out to me to ask me more specifically about how I feed schnauzers. So today I want to show you how I make a schnauzer stew, if you will. I frequently rotate proteins. So I have today some bison, I have some ground chuck, I also have sweet potatoes, apples, carrots, I have some probiotic here that I will add in, but I'm going to show you how I'm cooking this for my schnauzers. First, I get the meat cooking. So just normal browning the meat. I don't season it at all. While that's cooking, I stand here in my kitchen and uh, enjoy a cup of tea while chopping some of the things that I would eat myself. So carrots, apples, sweet potatoes, and I just rough chop because I'm going to throw them in with the meat. So you might say, well, what are the right percentages? And I say, eh, I just want enough vegetables that they've got good vegetables and I want enough meat that there's enough for them to eat. Now, I will also, uh, when we get a little further along, throw in some blueberries too. And I will top it with a little bit of probiotic. So this would be the kind of probiotic that, again, I would eat myself. So whatever probiotic you would use to help your own um, immune system stay strong, that's what you can use for your little schnauzers. So I've got the meat browning, and I'm now going to add the vegetables to the meat. I also add some water into this because I may or may not mix it with some kibble. And again, this is going to be up to you. And if you have one dog or two dogs and you say, hey, I'm able to entirely feed my dogs human grade food, then that's great. But if you say, hey, I've got several dogs or I don't have the ability to do that, maybe you mix up a, a stew like this for your dogs and you keep it in the refrigerator and you feed your dog some of this, a little bit of this each day during the week. It just depends on your life circumstance. I want to point out something about the probiotic yogurts or kefir. Notice they are unsweetened. And so I would strongly encourage. I also regularly store any of our dinner, our extra in a container like this. And then I can chop up steak or meat or whatever into really fine, tiny little pieces to use as treats. And my dogs have to work for their treats. So in other words, if they were to get some of this, they would have to do something like a sit, a dance, a spin, a roll the ball. Some dogs are also quite happy to work for a little piece of apple. So by chopping up half of this for me and half of this for the dog, I can make for a really good treat experience if my dog likes apples. Here's what it's looking like as I ladle it out into the bowl. You can see it's still steaming hot. So I'll let it cool down for a few moments and add probiotics. But in the meantime, I wanted to mention to you too that one of my favorite probiotics is the Flora, And I can either use this in a powder form. If I had the powder form, I'd just sprinkle it right over the top of the food. In this case, all the dogs that I have in my house at the moment are able to do the chewable tablets. Here's what the Forda Flora chewable tablet looks like. And I'll take it and divide it up and use it as treats. So again, I make my dogs work for it. In order to get one of these, they have to do a spin, a dance, a something. 
so that they are working for this yummy treat. So this is what the food now looks like with the probiotic on top. And if you're using kibble, so if you've gotten a new puppy and your breeder has given you a bag of kibble, which is what this is, when I got um, the three puppies, the other person gave me some kibble. So I could mix this kibble in with this food or not, depending on what you wanted to do. If you're not mixing in kibble, I highly recommend, and in fact, I do this anyway myself, I use the NuVet Plus. And this is, think of it as a vitamin for puppies. So it's different from the probiotic. And here's what they say about the NuVet Plus. It really helps build very strong immune systems in dogs, which is why I like it. And it also comes in a powder form and in a uh, wafer or a tablet form. I break it up and uh, when I break it up, I use it again as a reward. So if you're interested in this product, you can call NuVet Plus and use this order code. Here's what the NuVet Plus looks like in the chewable wafer bottle and I keep these two upstairs with me. And often before puppies go to bed at night, they get a Fortiflora and a NuVet Plus wafer as a treat, again, divided up and they have to work for it. This is an example of the type of sample that I will give you if you are getting a puppy from me so that you can use the new Vet Plus right away. I'll sprinkle this on the top of the food. But here's the real test. Do your dogs actually eat it? Mine do. They love it. And as you can see, they share a food bowl. And so typically the older ones will back away to let the younger puppies have the first go at the food. And with our three new puppies here, I will be feeding them in one of the dog crates. Why? Because I love for my puppies to get comfortable being in a crate. Well, you can see they like it. Now they have food that has been with them. They have the dry kibble, but of course they are preferring the home cooked meal. Smart puppies. This makes me so happy because I know that they are getting fantastic nutrition. Schnauzers need a low fat food. And so I would typically say whatever you're giving your schnauzers needs to have less than 15% fat in it. So if there are visible mm, chunks of fat in the meat that you are feeding, please do cut that off and any kibble-based product that you are giving your dogs, please make sure that uh, it is less than 15% and even lower would be great. So fat percentage really does matter in schnauzers, right Burberry?